hey, I've run across my share of kids who uh, have felt the need to live as loners. Uh, one young man in particular uh, shared with me uh, that his mother had divorced, been married and divorced seven times in his 14 years of life. He spoke about living in 11 different places uh, in over a seven-year period and going to six different schools in two different states. Uh, he said to me uh, in private one time, I'm always, I'm always the new kid in the class. And you know, it's miserable to join a class in the middle of the year. Uh, the teacher introduces you to everyone and that is just completely humiliating. He further stated, every time I start learning names, my mom seems to say, it's time for us to go, and off they go again. So I can kind of understand why this young man is somewhat withdrawn and has a difficult time in developing relationships with other people. But here's the cool part. Uh, just a just a few summers ago, I had the privilege of baptizing this young man into Christ. And now he's a part of the church. And he's building significant friendships and relationships that are going to last throughout eternity. He finally belongs. What I'm trying to say here is this. I realize that this is something that doesn't come easily to everyone. But if you aren't involved in a body of believers, if you aren't involved in church, I hope you'll fix that. Whether you're fellowshipping online or meeting in person these days, you should get to know people and build real, lasting, eternal relationships. Use technology to the best of your ability. Reach out and develop friendships. You need the church and the church needs you. You are loved more than you can imagine. And you are missed more than you'll ever realize. God loves you and God's family, the church, loves you. And he wants to change the paradigm of your life. Will you let him?